Hey everybody, it is Shanita. This is wash day. I am getting back on schedule. My hair has suffered in a mighty way. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for tuning in. I come on and I record my wash days and review products and show you what I'm doing to my hair and give you the kind of tips that I have used over the past few years that has helped me to grow my hair out. Prior to the last few weeks, it was in its healthiest state, but I have gone quite some time over the last few weeks without doing my hair, but I am going back to what I know. I know that when I was consistent with my hair, taking care of it, making sure it was washed and conditioned and um, moisturized, that it thrived. So I am going back to do what I know I was supposed to do. And when we get off track, I mean, you just do better. When you know better, you just do better. So here I am to try to help my hair. Look, this this is like one of those things right there, here that I wanna show you that I can tell a difference in. My hair has been out and I just had this in this sad looking ponytail for the last seven days. This hair is what, I mean, this is what it looks like when it's out and just unmoisturized. I put nothing on my scalp. I haven't sprayed any water. I literally haven't touched it in seven days. Look how dry this looks. But look at this side, where these twists are. One night I sat down and started to twist my hair because I was gonna just twist it back up to try to lock in some of the moisture. And I did about four twists and then I stopped. <laughs> that is how my life has been. But look at these and look how moisturized they look. Look how healthy it looks. Like it even feels softer. So this is why I love my twists. When I have my hair out, it just dries out so much faster. I wasn't trying to do that little test, but I hope it helps somebody. Just put your hair in some twist. Don't have to be small ones, some big ones, but that hair, the moisture on the inside of that hair just kind of gets locked, locked in as opposed to being out in the elements and getting all dry and frizzy and dehydrated like this is. So that is the first thing I wanted to share. But I am going to be using new products today. These are from Naturalist Divine. I did a video last year when I found this company and used some of her products at the time. I think I had a castor cream. It was the only thing that I had by her. In fact, it was one of a few uh, products that she had. Well, what a difference a year makes. Here we are a year later, she's got an entire slew of products. And so she's added to her line and I have a few of them and I'm gonna be showing them to you and using them. Here is what they look like. Again, the brand is Naturalist Divine. You know I'll put all the uh, information about where you can find it in the description box. This is their apple cider and neem shampoo. It says it deep cleans and cleanses the hair and scalp. If you are familiar with apple cider vinegar like this, almost looks like apple cider vinegar. I can just look at it and it has that little tinge of color to it. So I feel good that there's a good bit of apple cider vinegar in here, which is so good for you to um, rinse through your hair every now and then. And it cleanses it, it gives it shine. It's great for the hair. This product is the aloe vera and burdock root refresher spray. This has in it water, aloe vera, extract, glycerin, burdock root, silk amino acid, sunflower seed oil, polysorbate 20, Optifin Plus fragrance, and peppermint oil. So I am gonna be using this just to separate my hair. As you can see, it is all loose. I did not pre-pull it overnight. This is like midday and I don't, have time to pre-poo it. To me, if I don't let my hair sit in a pre-poo overnight, I just don't get the same effect. So it's just not even worth it to me. So I am going to be spraying this on. It smells good. And just to use it to rub through my hair to dampen it. So that I can separate it to put in my sections 
for when I do go to shampoo and condition it because I do all of this in sections. Oh wow, okay, I'm gonna do this middle crown area in a section of its own. I used to do that a while back and then I start doing six, but for old times sake, let's go back to the five. And if you suffer with a lot of breakage in your crown area, I really highly advise you section off the crown section of your hair separately. I used to try to do four sections and found that it just absolutely caused a lot of breakage in my crown section, trying to pull that hair that is already more kinky and tightly textured into uh, sections that were all the way in the front or the back. So section it off will allow you to be able to handle it a little gentler and keep it in its own little section because sometimes I really do have to treat that section a little differently. So I just sprayed some of that detangling spray on to separate that and that works really, really good. That burdock root is such a nice slippery product. I mean, slippery ingredient and I can tell that it is in there. That refresher spray is very hydrating. You know how you get that soft, damp feel and your hair just feels just instantly better when you touch it. And so here I am. I'm going to use the shampoo. I don't have a um, conditioner by here. I'll use another one, but I do have a deep conditioner from her. And that is a new product in the line. And we're going to test that out too. So I'm going to jump in the shower and I am going to use this. And I'm going to come back. It's the middle of the day. Life is crazy right now. Twists are just easier. They're faster. I know you've seen a thousand of them. They just work for me right now. And so I'm going to be doing that. I don't know how much of this video is going to be recorded because I'm showing you guys the same exact things over and over again. So if you are interested in some of the um, more intricate processes of my wash day, then you can see one of those longer wash day videos where I show you absolutely every step and walk you through what I'm doing as I am deep conditioning or rubbing it in or why I do it the way I do it. It's all there. So um, I am trying to cut these because life is just getting busy, y'all. COVID is kind of easing up and able to move out and do more and I am loving it. So I'm not going to forget about you guys, but I probably won't be on here as long. So I am going to proceed with this. I will be back and let you know what I think about these and we will see how naturalist divine work did i even tell you about it it she is a black owned uh canadian she lives in canada and these products uh were sent from there and might i say let me take a break to say this because i want to make this point very very clearly she sent these from canada and they got here way faster than if i order products from down the street or the next state over or two states over like she shipped what she already had in stock and it got here super fast. I was not expecting that. I'm thinking it takes a long time to get products from state to state. So surely coming from Canada is going to take forever. It did not. That's the difference in when somebody has stuff already stocked and they get right to pulling it together and packing it up and shipping it. Okay, I'm going all off on a limb. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, I am back from rinsing out the deep conditioner from my hair and I am just going to keep going here because I just sat down here and start recording and realized I didn't bring the styler with me and I'm too lazy to go get it. I'm so tired. I'm going to put on my leave-in and I promise you I will show you the consistency of the castor growth butter. That is what it's called when... I get back to show you how it turned out. It is mostly a light lime green color, the actual color of the butter is. It is a thick butter that is, I know shea butter and castor oil are uh, two of the first five ingredients. It's a nice thick butter. If you are a person that suffers with uh, hair that won't stay moisturized over the week, it is one of those kind of butters. It's 
spectacular for the winter time when it is so brutally cold. But my hair gets dry all season long, just the same. So, and I held this up, which is completely unrelated. Um, but this is another product by her. And this is one of the conditioning bars that I used in the first video that I will put in the description box. It is made of Brahmi, Shadavari, cocoa butter, olive oil, BTMS 50, beeswax, and peppermint oil. And you can see me use it in that video. I remember clearly doing the, showing you how I melted the bar and mixed it all up and losing the footage. That's how I remember that. But this is what it looks like. It's like, it looks like a chocolate bar. But you sit it in hot water and melt it down and then stir it in the hot water and it just turns into this thick paste. And you can make it as thick or thin as you want. It is a great, great strengthening deep conditioner. But I don't need any extra strengthening this time. I'm going to use that castor oil butter. I actually used that butter during my little two, three week hiatus a few weeks ago and... I am so glad that I used these products for that because my hair stayed moisturized the entire two weeks. I went 14 days, probably 15, without washing my hair, without um, taking it down to refresh it or retwist it. I did it that first time and just let it hung out. And I still was busy. Life went on, the weather got crazy. The day that I washed my hair, I remember thinking, I really don't have to do this right now. I can seriously keep this hair for another few days, but I went ahead and um, washed it anyway. But I remember thinking during that two weeks, oh my gosh, I could not have found a better product to be using during the time where I'm on this crazy break and don't have time for my hair because I didn't have to do anything and it stayed moisturized. So it is one that I will absolutely remember if I'm ever doing a protective style, traveling, going on vacation and you want to keep your hair moisturized under that, this is the brand you want to look for. So again, I don't have it and there is not a leave-in. There may be by now, but I don't have a leave-in from her. So I am going to use what is right in front of me, which is the Curls Dynasty Kali Kalahari Smoothie Leave-In. I literally just have a little bit of this left because this is another, I mean, I even have enough to even call a little bit. <laughs> I can't even beat it out. I love this so much. All the leave-ins I got, but you should see me trying to get every drop of this out of here. This stuff is so good. So, so good. And I um, did record a Curls Dynasty video that I need to edit and get out to you. Um, this is done, but I have more. But this is all I could get from that. And that's sad. I could have opened the other, but you know, when you, you find a good stuff, you want to use it every single bit so that was just enough for this uh i am gonna use my honey it's a three in one what's it called honey yeah it's a three in one this is the leave-in moisturizing little bear by annabelle's this has honey in it and it is such a great humectant for this time of the year it is just a very, very soft, whipped, just the most hydrating moisturizer ever. It's more like a milk, and I use it for leave-in, but it's a call three-in-one because it has three different uses. My hair loves, loves, loves this honey this time of the year, so that is why I ought just, I tend to use this more during the winter time. I mean, during the, the warmer months because I don't need anything super, super duper heavy and because this just keeps it so nice and hydrated. And y'all, I don't, I don't play. I don't play about my leave is. I need this hair to stay hydrated under here. So I, I go for it with the leave-in. Because of the weather, I can not use if it were winter time i would use a lot of leave-in and a lot of butter but it being this time of the year i don't want it to weighed down but i definitely want it to stay hydrated so i'm going to use uh, a lot of leave-in 
and not as much butter more because the butter is just so thick it's so thick and it just doesn't require you to use a whole lot it is not relegated to just type 4 hair you can use it with any type of hair just know that if you are one of those people who struggle with finding brands that really, really do use rich ingredients for you to keep your hair hydrated, as in for us for type fours, then this is one that will really, really work well. Okay, so I twist my hair up like this and I'm gonna pin it right back up like I always do, but as you can see, like this has already penetrated my hair strands. Like there's no residue on here. This is all water. I use this and a little bit of this and it's just all in there together. Both of them are magnificent. That is why I love them. They work similarly, which is why they work so well together. So I don't feel any kind of ways uncomfortable about mixing those two. So. Now I'm only left with this, so I'm gonna moisturize my hair, and you guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna twist it unless the spirit moves in a different way between now and the time I start twisting it an hour. Or so I will be back, and we will just see how these twists turns out. Hey everybody! So I am back, and I want to show you my hair. You guys, it has been four days four long days since I twisted up my hair. And before I came to fluff it out, I wanted to come and show you. This is wild, look at this definition. It feels so, so good. This actually stayed nice and shiny through the four days, even on the outside. If you ever taken down your twist and they look kind of fuzzy and um, grim on the outside, but when you I took it down, it was nice and shiny. These stayed nice and shiny the entire time. Look at this. That's so nice for having this almost been up an entire week. It was so my intention to come on here and put on makeup and jewelry and try to look cute for you guys. But I am headed to the gym immediately after this. I am literally gonna pull my hair back into a ponytail, change clothes and be out. So, though I love you and I love to present these brands and products in their absolute best light, I'm gonna skip that today so that I can make good use of my time and hope you guys will forgive me for just coming all up on your screen looking any old kind of way. This pick is in my, uh, that Amazon list in my description box. I love this thing so much. It really does give me an opportunity to kind of voluminize my hair by pulling through the roots and yet not having to mess with the ends too much. Cause I didn't put a roller on the end or anything and Pulling it all the way through would definitely add more frizz than I want. But this just gives more coverage at the roots. I can get to more hair because of how long the teeth are. Look at this thing. So if you click the link, I think it says three teeth pick or something like that in the description box. And then you can, the link will take you right there and you can get yours. Super. This is going to be so good when I do a wash and go to, to just give that hair some volume. So y'all, my hair feels great. Absolutely magnificent. I should have taken it down earlier so that I could have gotten a little bit more wear out of this because God only knows what it's going to look like when I get back. It just feels great. So nice and soft. All the way through the roots, all the way to the end. 
yeah it, it's gonna hold definition for a long long time long long time so let's talk about them this is exciting so the apple cider and neem shampoo i love this it looks so much like apple cider vinegar and it is like a mild clarifying shampoo it really really gets off all the grime and dirt and oil and product but how would i describe it it leaves the hair so nice and soft and manageable. You know what I mean? Um, I could take my fingers and pull it apart so that I could finger detangle it with no problem. Uh, it does deep clean. Like if you are a sulfate person and you just don't wanna play around with the sulfate free shampoo because you think that it won't get all the buildup off of your hair, but you like a natural version, this, this would be a great one, great one. Hair was left nice and soft and it pulled apart. Great manageability was off the charts. And this is so good, so, so good. It almost looks like a aloe vera and like a real aloe leaf gel. Love this. And, and here's the deep conditioner. Y'all, I could not find this deep conditioner for nothing in the world when I went to uh, deep condition my hair with this wash day. I searched everywhere and I spent so much time searching that I finally stopped and used something else. But as you can see, I have used this before. I used it in a prior wash before this time. So I still can tell you that it is a great deep conditioner. This is Ayurvedic based and it talks about strengthening the hair follicles, promoting healthier hair growth. So where this shines is the Ayurvedic ingredients in here strengthen the follicles. Follicles literally means your scalp. So it strengthens it, which allows the root of your hair to be nice and taunt so that you don't get so much shedding. You don't get so much hair fall. Um, your hair is just not as uh, prone to just come out. So this strengthens it. It strengthens the entire hair shaft. And so um, it does a great job of that. But this slippery elm in here is fantastic. It offers so much slip. I was so concerned when I saw strengthen on the front of here because I was like, oh, this is going to be one of those that I would probably use if I were doing a, um, wanted a protein treatment, but I went ahead with it. And this is something you could use every single week. It was that good. It has water, aloe vera juice, a uh, slippery elm, BTMS 50, acetyl alcohol, neem hydrosol, grapeseed oil, glycerin, burdock root extract, essential oil blend, Optifin Plus, and fragrance. I should have known it had um, something else in there to help with the slip. So the Slippery Elm and the burdock root, which are so good for your hair just by itself, um, just because it just is. But it has this element of slip that is so, so good. I'm gonna show you. Here's the other thing with this. Look how thick this is. You can spread this stuff for days. You only need a little bit. Like it almost has the consistency of a styler. It is just that thick. And I smell like a lemon, like a lemon essential oil. She does a great job of blocking the, I mean, neutralizing that neem odor because you know neem can be kind of strong. This smells really nice. Yeah, I wouldn't look at this container and think that it's gonna smell this good, but it really does. So it's not white, it's like this beige, like it looks like a styler, a styler. You can use this for a long, long time. Get so many uses out of this. So don't feel like this eight ounces will be gone in a few, uses because this will be there for a while. I also have, I used this in the prior Naturalist Divine video, so I didn't use it this time, but this is a um, deep treatment bar. So this is what she originally had. I don't know if she still does this or not, but it's like this bar and you get it and heat it and uh, add hot water to it and it mixes up to this, uh, like it's thick paste. Is this color? 
but it is such a great strengthener for the hair. It almost looks like a chocolate brownie, but it comes two in a pack and one bar you can use. I use the entire thing, but I was really, really, really trying to use it up. I didn't have to, and I don't think everybody will. I just didn't want to have to go through the process of having to store it. So if you want to use this on a day when you and maybe your daughter or somebody else needs a good strengthening treatment, this is wonderful. It says to refrigerate before opening. Um, and I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I'm not going to lie. But this has Brahmi, Shadavari, cocoa butter, aloe, avocado oil, BTMS 50, beeswax, and peppermint oil. I'm not sure if this is still on the website or not. I remember at the time she had two. There's this one that strengthens, and then there was another one that was more of a moisturizing um, bar. But this is very, very good. It has an expiration date on it and yeah you're just supposed to put it in a bowl at hot water and mix it down to whatever consistency you want good this was very very good i remember saying in the last video it would definitely take the place of a protein treatment i would not use this every week i i would not um it did give my hair a good nice strengthening um feel to it but not hard not hard it just felt strengthening. I would use a moisturizing DC after this. You get my gist? You know what I'm talking about. Okay, and here is the aloe vera and burdock root refresher spray. I used it as a refresher spray, but it too, I bet you could probably use this easily as a leave-in conditioner. I didn't do that, but it has distilled water, aloe vera extract, glycerin, burdock root, silk amino acid, sunflower seed oil, polysorbate 20, optifin plus fragrance, and peppermint oil. This I loved. I used it initially just to separate my hair. It was dry and all crusty, and this has a lot of slip as well. So I used it to spray on before I even touched my hair and helped to just finger um, detangle it into the bigger sections. So I got it all the way down to my roots. I did not make it wet. It just kind of enough to mist. And um, yeah, and then it was there that I realized, oh, I'm gonna save some of this. I'm gonna use this as a refresher spray. It would be wonderful midweek for you to just add a little bit more moisture to your hair and then maybe put it in some big twist or something. It says it can be used with any of their butters for maximum hydration. Apply refresher, then seal with butter. Yeah, so it sounds like it was, it's meant to be a leave-in. And you very well could do that, but because I seem to be struggling with reading and following directions these days, I use it as a refresher spray. In hindsight, I bet it would have been really, really good as a leave-in because it was so good as a refresher and it's not watery i don't know how much of that you can see but it's like a white um not water consistency but like a thicker milk maybe almond milk if you do that not you know regular milk but like a just a tad bit thicker milk very very super duper moisturizing and then, uh, so I used another leave-in, by the way. I used another leave-in. Y'all, I don't even know. It's been four days. I, I have no idea what I used. But I knew to make sure it was a nice uh, hydrating leave-in, which is exactly what she says it does, does give you maximum hydration. And that's what you want, a leave-in that is going to pack your hair with hydration, especially in extreme weathers, hot or cold. And especially if you're going to use a butter because you don't want to put butter on top of hair that is not properly hydrated not properly moisturized it's probably gonna make the butter seal in a whole lot of nothing so you're gonna end up with uh, hair that feels hard and dry because you have added the butter on top of hair that has just not been hydrated you want it nice 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 and hydrated under there and then seal in with the butter so this is this light lime color it is thick 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 so if you are a type 4 person who really really wants to get you a good 
hairstyle over the week that's gonna stay moisturized and you're not gonna have to do anything and I did not do anything and my hair is so dry prone then this is so good it feels just so great on the skin so it coats the hair it, it just like a big bear hug it just seals all that goodness in and it's not very ingredient heavy like there's just a few shea butter castor oil avocado oil rosemary oil tea tree and perfume a fragrance that's it those what four or five ingredients it's incredible and I'm not sure what is given it this green tint I don't know but it smells really really good and I used this the last time that I used it and it was warm on my scalp as well as on my hair strands you can use this on your scalp it Again, just like the other product we talk about, those Ayurvedic herbs strengthen the hair follicle to keep that hair uh, in those follicles so you don't get so much shed, but it also provides it with a little bit more sturdiness so it's not too weak either. The hair is not too weak. It stays moisturized, but it can handle a little bit more whatever factor you're going out in, whether that's wind or whether you're handling your hair or playing in it or a lot. This is a butter that will give you a little bit more strength though, so that you have a little bit more um, leeway with what you do with it. Uh, it says it strengthens the root, strengthens the hair from the root while promoting healthier hair growth. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. So it comes in this four ounce container. This looks big for four ounces. Maybe four ounces. Okay, it is four ounces, but I've already used this three to four times. I'm not even halfway done. Not even halfway. And I used it on my scalp. I wish you could take your hands and just feel these curls. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff so much. And look at the definition it provides. Even on these kinkier areas that are frizzy, this hair in the front that never wants to cooperate, it just dangles straight. It's just featherweight soft. And I think just the added uh, product she added to the line just really, really helped with that. The other video, if you look at it, and I'll put it in the description box, I talked about my hair feeling a little, that strengthening property you could feel, you could feel. And with this, adding everything all together, I don't get that at all. I My hair just feels soft, it is fluffy. Uh, feels like feathers. It feels like feathers. Yeah, definition all over. All over. So be sure that you follow her on uh, Instagram. If you are on Instagram, I will put that in the description box as well. The link will take you straight there. Um, she's very active on there and I've just kind of been following her growth from when she started with those few products and now she has a body cream um, I think she had a body cream before but she's just added so much to the line and so I love it I just love when I can be a part of some of these owners journeys when they start small and um, you know they just get a little bit more exposure and get more customers and just get a little bit more vision um, then they have more time and room to just grow and thrive and I'm telling you nothing makes me happier nothing makes me happier than seeing a business that I knew last year just had maybe two or three products in this year they've added this full line of stuff it just gives me so much joy that's the sign of growth and doing well and that is why I do what I do because I I want them to win. I want them to do well, especially when they are super duper talented like she is. So check out the website. Discount code. I used to have one, you guys. I will find out if it's still there. Um, check the description box. If I don't put anything in the video, for sure it'll be in the description box if you want to give these a try. If you are an Ayurvedic hair care person, you definitely want to give this a try. You're going to love this. Love this. 
that strengthening that comes from those herbs is just, you just know it's there. You can feel that it's there, but not to the point where you can feel that strength on your hair. Like you're scared if you touch it, it's gonna just snap off. I could, I could sit and do this for a long, long time. <laughs> My hair feels absolutely amazing. I kind of feel guilty about going to the gym, y'all, because, you know, you know, I mean, I, I don't want to waste all this definition. But probably what I will do is come back, and if it is too bad, I've sweated it all out. It won't be that bad, but I may have to mist it with a little bit of the refresher spray, just a tad, and just twist it back up. That is all I'll do. I would not add more butter because this is thick and I don't want your hair to be weighed down or if you don't want it to have a lot of uh, buildup, then you don't want to use this more than once in a wash day. On a wash day, it's perfect. It is moisturizing enough that it will keep you the entire wash day. So I will do that and um, just put in some big twists uh, when I get back and it'll be fine for tomorrow. I can take it back out and not only will it still have this definition, it will have a ton of uh, volume and some of the length would be showing. So, cause some of the curls would kind of loosen up. So check her out, it's so exciting. I love it so much. You guys go and pay her a visit. Tell her I sent you there. And again, if I have a code, I'll put it somewhere here. Check around um, video or in the description box, but um, be sure that you do. Be sure to check her out. Thank you so much for being here. I have been collecting so many empties, you guys. And for those of you who like empties video, whoa. Because I have been uh, just busy, I've been collecting so much stuff, I've gotta do a video. In fact, I'm almost certain I'm gonna have to break it up into two or three videos. That's how much it is. I really should do it now, but I probably won't. I probably won't. I need to go and work out. I've been sitting down for the last couple of days. So I will see you guys in the next one. Ask any questions. I'd love to hear your opinions. I'd love to hear any of your experiences with her. I love, if you got any questions, I'd love to answer them for you. You know, I'm here for you. These days I'm not able to respond back as quickly, but I will respond as quickly as I can. I am always thinking about you all and always feeling like I'm betraying you some kind of way by not being on as often but um i'm getting my life on track and once things get smoothed out again then i'll be back because one thing is for sure i may slack up but i will not will not stop taking care of my hair and i really challenge you to do the same thing exercise get wet get do whatever you need to do to live your life to the fullest your hair is not to hold you up from living um, because you're going to feel better on the inside and your health is going to be better than to be worried about hair that is constantly growing, that is, you know, constantly being replaced. We cut it off. It's going to break off. It's, it's hair and it's just not as important as your health. That's my sermon for today, you guys. I will talk to you in the next video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.